I'm Kiki. And I'm Indy. And this is Kiki, Kiki and Indy's, Indy's Current Music Crush. crush. Wait, but how are we going to say it? Current Music Crush. And I'm like, Current Music <laughs> Crush. <laughs> There's a ton of great new music out there. Too much, really. So we thought it'd be fun to catch up with some of our favorite new artists. The ones we've been in love with lately. Totally. In this episode of Music Crush, Buzzy as Can Be Swedish pop artist Tuve Sterke came by the Babel studio to talk about touring with Lord, the release of her upcoming third album Sway, and of course, world domination. No big deal. <laughs> so sick. <laughs> so sick. <laughs> You. What brings you here? Well, this kind of stuff, fun stuff. We're big fans. Huge. We, I was bumping Ego years ago when it came really? out. Yeah, I was absolutely obsessed with it. Um, so super excited that you're here today. Yes. The arts were a priority in Tuve's home growing up. Her mother was a ballet instructor, and her father, Anders Ostman, scored a number one hit on Swedish radio back in 1975. So it's no surprise that Tuve caught the music bug early, competing in Swedish Idol as a teenager and releasing her debut album in 2010. She was only 17 and has obviously learned a lot about herself since that time. For me that was like a, a lot like a learning experience. Um, everything I did was for the first time. And since then I feel like I've evolved a lot as a person and I feel like I'm way more confident now. That's the biggest different, uh, difference and it's so nice to feel that like I really have trust in my own ability. I know I'm good at things and it's really nice. It, it's very freeing. That's awesome. Yeah. Hey, 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 you make me, you make me, you it's been eight years since her self-titled debut went platinum in her home country. She would follow her debut up with her 2015 album, Kiddo and is now prepping for the release of Sway, her third album set to drop this spring. This whole album that I'm working on uh, now, uh, Sway, is about like what I've been wanting to do is make songs that when you listen to them, you feel like, like it's you. And it's like a private thing, but certain songs have that like, have, have that thing that when you listen to them, it feels like, Oh, this is me. This is th th this is this is how I feel. So, like you said earlier, you have a new album coming out entitled Sway yes. on May fourth. Yeah. May the fourth be with you. Yes. Was that intentional? Do you like Star Wars? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's the best way to remember it. Yeah. I keep telling people, everybody that, and now they won't forget. Um, what inspired the title? I like the word because Sway, like the album, is like a collection of love stories almost, but some of them are not romantic at all, and some of them are super romantic. It's like the pros and cons of being in love and being in your feelings. And sway to me is a very romantic word. It just sounds like soft, and it, and I like that it's there's intimacy in it, like sway with me. Mm -hmm. It could be like, like a close thing, but it could also be a big movement, like sway. What's your favorite song to perform live? Probably Say My Name. Say my name. Love that song. For sure. Yeah. So good. I think it's like one of my favorites. Thank you so much. Yes. It brings out a lot of ugly dancing. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, this kind of shakes. <laughs> Prior to the release of the new record, Tuve played her biggest shows to date, opening up for one of her heroes, Lord, in North America earlier this winter. She's also set to play some of Europe's biggest arenas when she takes the stage ahead of another pop superstar, Katy Perry. So you're supporting Lord on tour now? Yes, so I'm awesome. so excited. <laughs> I adore her so much. I think she's so talented. And it's going to be crazy. It's the first time I play arenas. I've never done that before. And you covered her song, Liability. Yeah, I said I love her. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I think she heard it, right? Yeah, I actually sent it to her before I, before I put it out uh, because it felt like, like if, if she wouldn't have liked it, I wouldn't, 
I, I wouldn't have released it, but she liked it and uh, she seems very sweet. Truth is, I am a toy that people enjoy till all of the tricks don't work anymore. You've done so much already in your musical career. What do you think was like your biggest, best moment so far? I feel like that's a tricky one because I'm always, I'm always just focused on what's next. Yeah. So I'm like, Staples Center is going to be the biggest. <laughs> and then it's like the new thing and the new thing and the new thing. On that note, where do you see yourself in five years? <laughs> <laughs> um, world domination, obviously. <laughs> No, but like, bro, I, I would have liked to release the, like a couple more albums because uh, I want to be faster and like I just want to keep releasing music and uh, promoting it and uh, touring with it and do everything simultaneously and not take any breaks because mm -hmm. uh, I want to be superhuman like Beyonce. In five years, we're going to come back to this interview. Yeah, Beyonce. yeah, yes. <laughs> like, do you she actually us? did dominate the world. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.